Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday only on Why in the Morning, your favorite breakfast show. We do this every week between Monday and Friday, 7 to 10. So today in the spirit of entrepreneurship, we've decided to open again with a segment of laughter and joy. Have you ever wondered uh, if these people who make you laugh every day, every morning on Instagram, when you're there on Twitter and you see a funny video, yes, yes, comedy, is there money in comedy? You know, people assume that they just laugh their way to the bank, but today we are here to hear if that's a true story you know so with me in studio i have people from the industry and i want them to introduce themselves because i don't want to uh, downplay any achievements that they might have accumulated along the way go ahead say good morning to the why in the morning family hello how are you guys i'm right now in y254 pleasure to meet you guys mm -hmm. i'm uh, victor msavi mm -hmm. that's my name I'm all staying right here. right okay okay hey guys oh. Okay, hi. Mm -hmm. Why two five four in the morning? My mm -hmm. name is Bernard Nabiswa. I'm an online content creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and today they're here to share the story, especially with regards to Victor Safi's journey in the comedic industry or the comedy industry generally. So <coughs> let's talk, Victor. I think you're even in character. You're even dressed. <laughs> you're even dressed accordingly. And Bernard here is your director and your manager. True. Yes. So let's talk about your journey in comedy. How did you land in this particular line of work? Oh, it is passion. It is something that is in me, so I just uh, decided to expose it. Mm -hmm. So, when I told me to join, being me, when I try, I need some respect because you can get married, you know, yes, sir, yes, and no, yes, yes, you do my number. So, <laughs> they don't care about your education. Mm -hmm. That's why I um, decided to be an official. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when it comes to back and economy, one, so when I do always do a um, I'm a salesman. I'm a salesman. I'm a salesman. So, I'm a salesman. Who is that too? <laughs> <laughs> kusoma kusoma ningesoma tu vizuri lakini sijui shetani inatoka ngapi Mhm mm Nilikuwa naenda hivi kufika preps ndio hiyo usingizi imeanza na kuingia kwa dom nikawek mpaka asubuhi Mhm mm So sijui Hey comedian let me just talk to your director <laughs> Let me ask you, how do you spot talent? How did you pick Victor Safi up? What is it that you do to spot the talent? And why did you decide that you wanted to be an online uh, content creator? Okay, with Victor, there was a place, there was a studio I had gone to do some errands. Mm -hmm. Then I found him there. Mm -hmm. Then from the way I saw him talk, I uh, saw so this guy is very funny. Mm -hmm. So he was cracking jokes here. People mm -hmm. were laughing. So mm -hmm. I saw, I, 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 I decided to talk to him. Mm -hmm. I asked him if we can be creating these videos, then we put them online. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, online nowadays is the place where most people go. Most people spend most of their time mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. watching videos. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. You know, I'd like to know how you come up with your jokes. Like, take us through your creative process. Like, is it that you see something happening on the outside, then you're like, oh, let me make fun of this? Or how do you come up with your content? Oh, first of all, there is a topic that might be trending in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I do my own, but uh, some of them, you just sleep and wake up, you find you can do this. Oh, you just get an idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. That's how it is. You don't, have you ever gotten... um? Um, you know, when it comes to making people laugh, it's a very difficult job, I might imagine, like, because you can't predict if someone is going to find it funny or not. So um, let's talk about, let's talk about uh, the reaction that you got from other people outside, like from the fans, from the people who've been watching you. What reactions, from the hate to the love, you'd like to hear as a comedian? But to make somebody laugh is not all about a letter of a You can even crack a joke, and she uh -huh. laughs or uh -huh. he laughs. Uh -huh. So... It is not something a difficult task. So it depends. Everybody can make someone laugh. Mm -hmm. So it depends with how you bring the point. Mm -hmm. In a comedy, it is a story, a story, then a punchline. Mm -hmm. That's where people laugh. A story, a story, then a punchline. So when I see my wana I it. Have you ever wanted to be serious but people just didn't take you seriously? Oh, at times I do address people on some serious issues, but uh, they take For example? <laughs> When I'm dressing, I'm addressing just the people who are concerning slay queens. Mm -hmm. They don't take it serious because they just know I'm cracking jokes out of that. Because there's no such thing as a slay queen also. <laughs> there is. Oh, please. So what's your, what's your definition of a slay queen? Uh, a slay queen is just a slay. <laughs> really? Really? 
Okay. Anyway, let me go back to online content creator. How did you get yourself out there? How do you get a viewership? What What are some of the steps that you take to make sure that people notice the work that you do? For someone at home who is probably even in the same line of work, uh, what is it that you do to get noticed? Mm. Like the, the the process not is not that complicated. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have the uh, you have to do your research. Mm -hmm. Like you go online, there are tools that you can use to see which topics are trending online at mm -hmm. a certain time or mm -hmm. a certain period. Mm -hmm. Maybe within one day, within one month, or mm -hmm. even twelve months. That is one year. Mm -hmm. So you use the keywords that you get from that to create a certain content that goes with that those mm -hmm. trends. Mm -hmm. You can even predict to a certain period. Where you can predict? Yeah, you can predict from what is going on at the moment. So currently, based on what's going on, what are you guys predicting? Like, 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 <laughs> like now people are talking about 2022, you see. Yeah, elections, mm -hmm. and such kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. uh, like Or rumors of people being left out in the cold and all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. such kind uh -huh. of stuff. Yeah. Ah, okay. So when we get to 2021, everybody everybody's mind will be about election so mm. when you create content that time you'll be creating content that is going towards the election okay. and you get the viewership so that increases the chances of people clicking yeah. on your video yeah viewing your content ah okay yeah. but, uh, but but uh victor you have not told me about the reactions from your fans like tell me from the worst to the best what kind of feedback have you gotten i can imagine it might not have been as easy as you're making it look Ah, kuna watu wanaweza kuchukia tu watu fanye mazuri hata yeye alichukuliwa lakini bora ah. uhai so unajua <laughs> it, uh, it is not a must you will impress everybody mm -hmm. but uh, the number of people that appreciates me that accepts me are more than the number of people that hates me mm -hmm. but uh, with time watanipenda to me sinanga ubaya utakuja mm -hmm. tu with time with time so who are you when you're not in character cuz the to the gentleman i met uh, a, a few minutes ago was dressed oh my god like damn i thought i thought you were uh, um you know <laughs> a musician or a pop star kidogo kidogo if he disappeared 10 minutes later he's in a short <laughs> and a very interesting outfit so i'd like to know who's victor safi outside of comedy oh victor safi outside comedy i hustle mm-hmm uh, we have a studio called uh, Proclips, Small Magics, located on Feather Estate, mm -hmm. just uh, at the stage. Mm -hmm. We do videography, mm -hmm. uh, photography, we do, we, we do several stuff that are being done in the photo studio. Mm -hmm. We also even do audio recording. Uh -huh. We organize events with the, the director there is called Small Magics, Mr. Director Sosi. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's where we do our stuff. So is, so, so is this comedy your main hustle or is that videography and photography your main hustle? Hey, comedy, comedy in the at least, in an pesa at least, at least, at least, at least, at least, at least, at which I'm yet to get. Uh, <laughs> in an nipia nyumba. I know why you don't have a girlfriend, you're busy calling people slay quiz. Anyway, <laughs> just continue. <laughs> yeah, so comedy, comedy in an sana, because, uh -huh. uh, being you guys hosting me, people are getting to know me outside there. I'm being called for a show. Mm -hmm. I'm currently signed by the Gala Live Kenya. Oh, you've been signed? Wow. Gala uh -huh. Live Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in Amaka Comedies, also happens uh, mm -hmm. every start of the month. Mm -hmm. And uh, several people just coming through. The likes of James Kobendi, I appreciate him. Mm -hmm. Been trending and Anishika Mkono, Ivi, and Mama Yetu, Flora Gatwiri. Mm -hmm. So, so many support are there. Mm -hmm. I've, had like you, I've had you mention a Flora Gatwiri. Who is this? She's also a YouTuber. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. She's part of the Ben. Is it Ben trending or Ben trending Kenya? Yeah, I work with her. Uh huh. Yeah, she's my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> getting <laughs> deep. Mula, uh, I was about to call you Mula. Mula. You've okay. also been working with other superstar comedians as well, such as that. Can you just list uh, those that you look up to here in this country? I cannot say I look up to someone because that mm -hmm. one means I want to be like him. But Inspired uh, by, maybe. Mm. I'm inspired by Jalango. Mm -hmm. But I've worked with uh, comedians in Japan and now they the likes to go to Rikomondi, mm -hmm. uh, Wagonyiro, but the likes of Mulamwa, Kukudenja, mm -hmm. Smart Joker, uh -huh. and Fanyana Osana. Uh -huh. 
So tukipata stage sisi tu tuko tu hapo tu mwenye atacheka cheki mwenye atacheka. <laughs> you actually you actually you actually had an event on Sunday. Was it Sunday? Uh, yeah, on yeah, Sunday we had Sunday, an event. Yeah. That's the yes. Maka Amaka yeah. comedies. Uh-huh. Can you tell me about that? Uh the show was good. The show was late. The reception is good. Mhm. Mm Do mejua Si hizi sema lakini that one is an interaction from fans. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was good. Mhm. Mm that is all you can say for it. It was good. It was good. I really, <laughs> I really invited you, but you didn't turn up. So, so the, also, also you are annoyed with me because, because, because of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm mm. sorry, I'm sorry, Victor. So I feel next time. There's only the next time. <laughs> so the seat was empty. <laughs> okay, guy, can we not be for now, Uberi? I'm sorry. Next time, I'm going to make some time and come. <laughs> Please do make sure you follow us on social media, 254 channel. The hashtag is why in the morning, hashtag entrepreneurship Tuesday. So let's talk about uh, some of the shows that you're also anticipating to do a bit much later or much later. Let's, let's hear from you. The shows that uh, the platform I'm willing yes. to get into. First of all, I'm willing to, I'm willing to get into mm -hmm. a radio station as a co-host. Oh wow! So you do have a you do have a plan to 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 become a radio presenter. Yeah. Wow. And after that, uh, we are. Uh, oh, not you mentioned Jalango. <laughs> we have started our uh -huh. online TV. Mm -hmm. The Street Two Five Four. TV. Street Two Five Four TV. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be hosting there. Mm -hmm. What's amazing! So, Congratulations. So thank you so much. Niko ngana tu. Just a crazy person. Kila kitu watu kweni. <laughs> <laughs> no, it matters what it is, please. So, oh, no corruption. Say, say not corruption. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about some of the challenges that you guys are facing in your particular industry, yeah? And what, what, and what the government can do to make it easier for you as well. Can we hear? As comedians, do you even have a union? You know, like, how do you guys get uh, forward your rights and, you know, put your agendas forward? First of all, uh, there is hatred amongst us. Oh, there's hatred. Yes, yeah, oh, so, yeah. so that uh, I'm sorry to say that, so that you find that uh, that comedian who has made it to higher platform, mm -hmm. Isaac Akuinoa, mm -hmm. because uh, he or she is not sure with the spirit you are coming with. Mm -hmm. Then uh, people are also ignoring you. So there is some things if you look into. There is so many negativity. May I call them small negativities? Mm -hmm. If you look uh, into those, uh, you cannot go anywhere. Mm. Because uh, people fail you, you invite people for your event, they are like, ah, we are going to waste our time there, something of the sort. You know, you need to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in a pushy okay. <laughs> Yeah, but mm. anyway, can you hear <laughs> So, that's what's uh, affecting us so much. Mm -hmm. At times, you might send link to someone, a fungui, a share, you are just there. Mm -hmm. But, you are just there. So you can see there's a bit of disunity when it comes to some of the members. Ben, in, in, can in you the comment? In the entertainment field, wana didanganya too, lakini there is disunity. Okay, Mr. Director, do you agree with these sentiments? Yeah, they are, but, but <coughs> okay, on my side, the biggest challenge is uh, the equipment for production, like the cameras. You find that they are, the equipment are very expensive. Oh, they cost a fortune, eh? Uh, yeah, so... You can find a, a very short clip of maybe, let's say, 30 seconds. But now the, the equipment that you have to use so that it can attract viewership, because you have to make something that is of high quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then another thing is the, the internet service providers. The, the rates are too high for mm -hmm. people to, to be able to watch some videos online. Mm -hmm. You see, like somebody using the bundles, Watching videos on YouTube is mm -hmm. very expensive mm -hmm. <laughs> for that person. So I think the government should look into the ways of uh, at least reducing the the rates, mm -hmm. the internet rates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I, I think I think hopefully someone in the in a relevant uh, position yeah. of authority has had that. Yeah. Um, let's talk about uh, some of the uh, the ways in which that um, you can say that the industry has progressed. Like now, we, what's good? What's so good about it? And what should we keep? as an industry when it comes to entertainment. It's good to appreciate the small milestones. Oh, first of all, uh, what I can say about uh, the industry right now, there is uh, so many TV stations with good heart presenters like you. Oh. So <laughs> if, if you book for an interview or they just spot you, we are brought to interview. So there is nothing good like being exposed to TV channels. Mm -hmm. When I spoke to that, you are being exposed to millions of people. Mm -hmm. So I can say it is improving. Mm -hmm. 
the entertainment industry in Kenya is improving, but uh, I think the government is doing very minimal on the entertainment show. Mm -hmm. Because right now, when we do host the gala live at uh, mm -hmm. National Theatre, you find the cost of the hall is too high. Mm -hmm. So I think the government should look into such things. They need to make your work easier. Because there's also no guarantee that you guys get any returns anyway. Uh, true. Exactly. Ah. All right. Amazing. Please make sure you let us know your social media platforms as well. So what time we wind this up and perhaps, you know, maybe you can let us know, uh, maybe for someone at home who wants to do this, what words of encouragement do you have for them as well? Yeah. As we say goodbye. The ones of encouragement. Mm. nyumbani. <laughs> You use whichever. If you keep on calling these people that have made it that bro, nataka unifanyi hivi, nataka niende chachi isho, they will ignore you, you will use more, uh, utaluzi yo morale tu. You lose morale, oh. Then utajipata tu ufanyi yo, umerudi tu kwa mjengo, talent mm -hmm. naisha hivu umeoa, tiari ukuna watoto watano sasa. So talent imeenda tu hivu. Mm -hmm. mm, then, uh, because it is fans that make us to be elevated to that level. Msi sao fans so muta na ku inbox to ata salamu wana ku call. We kila sao kutu meeting. I mean a meeting I'll call you. Muna kuwa tu fair. Because they will decide to unfollow you after they unfollowed you. Where will you go to? So my fans ni kitu muhimu sana. To heshimiani. Apart from God, my fans ni watu wa you. Wa imu sana wa in the field of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Because when, when even the companies look at the brands, they look at your followers. Mm -hmm. Then they look at the trends, how people appreciate you. Mm -hmm. But if you to a mother, you will not have followers, you will not have fans. Okay. So we will be just like, we will be doing your comedy, your songs, but we are doing them in your bedroom. <laughs> so you need that respect uh, as well. You need well. that respect to fans. <laughs> Thank you. And your social media handles? Get me at uh, IG at Victor Msafi. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Victor Msafi. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Street 254 TV. Okay. We are coming there in full force. All right. I wish you the best of luck with that endeavor. Bernard, yeah, let's go. Okay, what I can say is with the internet, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Internet has brought up uh, many celebrities. Even if you are at home, you shall go, go happy. You have your phone. Just record. If you know you are an artist, if you can sing, you are a comedian, you can act, just record yourself and share with people on the internet. Mm -hmm. You'll be known. If it's good, people will notice yeah, it and they like yeah, it. If and it you. is good, people will like it. You keep sharing your content mm -hmm. and it will grow from there. Okay, but yeah. uh, it's about time we conclude this. Thank you so much, Bernard and Victor Safi. There's a clip we want to finish with, which is the truth about Polinia. You know, okay. you know some of my roots are in Yeri. So what is your oh. issue with us, my friend? Uh, uh, no. Hmm? There is nothing like an issue. <laughs> There's nothing that is wrong? No. Okay, anyway, you mm. let us know. Let's have a look at the clip. And then, yes, we'll be, we'll be back with the next interview. You're still watching Entrepreneurship. We were talking about money in comedy, and, we, and we've heard from the comedian himself and from his director. So please don't go anywhere. My name is Hilda Wadidi.